now we'll see uh, how the foreign currency transactions will post to or maybe how how we can make sure that the foreign currency transactions are properly updated or not so first thing is ob08 so here we are going to maintain the foreign currency uh, transaction so we'll check for exchange rate m and currency is usd to inr so here we are saying that one usd is equal to 87 inr okay so today is uh, second of uh, december so i will try to maintain some exchange rate and we'll check how the system is taking that exchange rate or not for a uh, calculation so this is going to be my zero to second december sorry uh, if i mentioned 12th of december so this is the second of december and year 2023 and i am going to maintain the exchange rate as let's say exchange rate we are going to maintain as 88 so one dollar is equal to 88 inr and let's press enter and save it now we'll post some uh, transaction fb 60 and we'll go to a uh, vendor and we'll post the transaction first we'll understand uh, how the foreign currency calculations happens then i will also post some transaction in the foreign currency and we can uh, see so as it is a tata motors us so for a tata motors inr will be a foreign currency but uh, first we'll understand the translation then we'll go and see how the foreign currency works Okay, so enter all the information uh, for uh, understanding purpose. What I will do is I will keep it as 100, 100 USD, 100 USD and give the pause center. Save it. So after filling all the information, save the transaction. Now go to document display. So here it is showing as 100 USD, right? So let's uh, take other currencies also or uh, what we can do is display currency. And the display currency I will taking as a group currency because our group currency is INR, right? So here you can see that 8800 is when came up. So from where this 8800 is came up. So in uh, current uh, earlier step, we have maintained our exchange rate as 88, right? So it has converted that 88 here. Means $1 is equal to 88 into 100. So Okay, so in OB, so it has came from OB08 is the transaction. So here we have maintained for today's rate, M, my currency is USD to INR. And here we have maintained for today's rate, we have maintained this $88, means one USD equal to 88. So from that it has read and converted that value into normal so whenever uh, this is one thing and other thing is that for us company if you want to post anything from a foreign currency transaction or anything so how we can do is so let's say fb60 and 90 percent of the transactions if uh, this company most of the time local currency will be uh used for posting many transactions so there are some vendors who are going to ask you to make a payment in the foreign currency for 
so who will ask you to make a payment in the foreign currency so in that case what you can do is for let's say this is a same vendor is asking you to make a payment in the european currencies so and here i will make 100 usd instead of usd you here you have to change so for foreign currencies always change the currency local currency to your uh, foreign currency so the payment means uh, the invoice will be happening in U euro right so select eur and uh, give all other details same as it is so there is no change so only here uh, we have to make the currencies in which uh, foreign currency they are asking so enter all the information and press enter and save it okay now we'll go to document display so here what has happened is uh, you are seeing uh, the actual currency has happened in the euro okay the currency transaction the transaction is happened in the euro so now it will automatically create the euro into a local currency so for this organization the local currency is usd so it has converted into a usd also it will convert into a group currency so group currency we have maintained as inr so it has converted into inr also so this is how uh, the foreign currency transactions works and here also if i go to slash and ob 08 so how the 7000 came up for 1000 euro is uh, the settings will be here only um convert ur to inr so here you will see that one uh, euro is equal to 70 usd so from there it has the conversion happened and for usd also we'll see why it has came to 108 dollars means so one usd is equal to <coughs> currency you are to usd so here if you see if one point uh, one dollar is equal to 0 0.94 uh, uh, usd right so based upon this conversion that uh, transaction has came up thank you